there, everybody. It's Bella. Welcome back to Stray God, a musical about gods. Oh my god, this is an amazing game. I got so distracted last episode, I was barely talking. I'm like, I was just, I was dancing, I was vibing, I was having a good time. But now we are in the journal, um, because I wanted to look at some stuff. But in the previous episode, we had met Calliope, and then she came back to our apartment later and died at our hands, and then her godness came into us, and then we met the chorus which was people who wanted us to die, but then they're like, we'll give you a week and then you can prove yourself, prove that you didn't kill Calliope. So that's what we're doing. And then we met Pan, who was like, I'll help you. But then we're like, we don't really trust you. And then we sang and then it was this whole thing. So we're gonna look at the general real quick, look at the characters. Freddy, I only call her for Far Ishta when I'm visiting her home. Her mom always like these deep fried honey snacks I love. I've been a breast friend since, oh, probably forever. We used to make up rhymes while skipping rope. It's been that long. We've come a long way of those days. Edge of Ellipsum in her band inviting me in was her idea. I was keen on joining since I hadn't seen Freddie much since I left school, but it was kind of rough going. I can sing, sure, but when we get a gig, it feels good being up on the stage, but it's really my thing. Is this really my thing? I don't know. Freddie was at the apartment when Pan arrived, so I had to tell her everything. Part of me feels bad for getting her involved, but I have to admit none of this felt quite right until I did. I, anyone can figure this out, she can. Greek mythology had been her thing since seventh grade. I'm glad that she is here to back me up during the song with Pan. We put our heads together, now we can handle anything. Oh my god, yes. Okay, let's do Calliope. Stuck to her. No, Calliope is one of the muses, and it's about the same as being a god. But that's really about it. I don't know where she lived and that she's up to or who her enemies are. I have so many questions. For one, what is she doing when she found me at the gymnasium? Was she just passing by or did she plan that? How did she know where I lived? I keep thinking that about Calliope said to me before she died. She seemed so sad. Did she know she was, what was going to happen? Most of all, why did she pick me? It appears Calliope was staying at an apartment. One belonged to Persephone. Well, people and it actually not too far from mine. Could we? Could that be where Calliope was attacked? Am I crazy for agreeing to check it out by myself? What if Calliope killed herself? What if she's like, I'm done, I'm right. like, or she like faked her death or something and didn't want to be a god anymore, so she gave it to her and like faked it. You know what I mean? So, what if Calliope's still here? I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I think it might have been self-inflicted, which is sad, but. Hermes is the idol who came to collect me at my apartment when Calliope died. I did not know their name at the time. Of course, the only mentioned who they were afterwards. I guess that they're a god of doorways, maybe. No, he's a messenger god. Um, I wonder if we can go anywhere with that power into bank vaults on the top of a mountain across the world. Pretty wild to think about. Could Hermes have been involved in Calliope's death? They seem surprised, if not re if not really broken up about it. Not that Hermes strikes me as someone who does much deep thinking. They seem more like a kid, although I guess looks can be deceiving. When did they have to come when Calliope died? And did, the, and did it right away, too? Kind of suspicious, if you ask me. I don't know, that's kind of his job. Aphrodite is the goddess of love, and I can believe it. She has the sparkle when you look at her. Like, she is one of those old-timey movie stars. She does have old-timey movie star energy, and she just looks beautiful. All glamour and presence, but I bet if she walks into a room, everyone stops what they're doing to stare at her. Why is she part of the chorus? I have no idea. She seems kind of quiet and sad, like she's busy writing some teary pallet in her head and not really listening to what's going on around her. If Aphrodite is behind Calliope's death, then she hides it super well. Maybe you just naturally learned how to be a great actress after thousands of years or so. How would I know? You wouldn't. Apollo! He gives me Thor energy so much, though. <laughs> I don't know much about Apollo. He's the only guy in the chorus, but I guess... But he didn't say much of anything until he kind of defended me, I guess. At least he disagreed with you need to die verdict. I guess I owe him one. Actually... If I actually owe anyone to give me an extra week before they killed me, I'm not sure about that. Athena introduced Apollo as the god of prophecy, but I'm not sure exactly what that means. Don't prophecies wear long robes and speak big booming voices? This is the only one that looks less like a god and more like a surfer who crashed on a beach after a party and still hasn't found all his clothes. <laughs> Could he have killed Calliope? I can't take anything for granted when it comes to these people. I mean, he was a quiet one. So, possibly. I don't know. Athena! Athena is supposed to be the goddess of wisdom, but how does she, that work? Is there powers of her? Does she n just know things? She's supposed to be really powerful, and how exactly? Mostly she seems like my mom, or anyone's mom. Maybe that's just kind of... Uh, 
That's kind of what she is to the idols, a mom who looks after them and keeps them going. She was all smiles and even super suit when she told me I had to die. Like it would not be a big deal that makes her a scary mom. Like the kind that demands you speak to the manager when things go her way. Ah, oh, she's a Karen. Because things always go her way. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe she's the cool mom, or maybe she keeps smiling while she smothers me with a pillow because she's thousands of years old and I'm basically nothing in comparison. And maybe she killed Calliope and that makes me an annoyance because that means her murderer didn't quite take. Um, but then why give the chance to prove yourself if she really wanted me dead? Couldn't she have just said, nope, no vote, nip it, this in the bud. Athena really seems like the type to do that, right? Idols are so confusing. Maybe she did. Because she did have the, I, uh, there's something about her and her voice. She seems too nice. And there's just this act, there's just a bit of her that just doesn't seem quite, quite right. I don't know. Persephone, oh. Damn. Persephone. I like Persephone. I like the vibe. Attitude, not so much, but the vibe? Oh. Damn. What did Athena say about Persephone? She's the queen of the underworld. Didn't she say she used to be the queen of the underworld? I don't know. I had to look it up. I have to look it up, but basically the idol version of hell. Does this mean it's a real place, like, you die, you go to underworld, or maybe that's only to idols? Mind you, Athena didn't exactly say Persephone was the queen of the underworld, did she? She said once the queen of the underworld, so it isn't any longer. She's the only idol that Athena didn't say was the god or something or other. I'm willing to bet that's the whole story about that. Oh, there is. There is a whole ass story about it. So, with Persephone, she was taken by Hades um, to be the queen of the underworld, and then her mom... Demeter, I think is Persephone's mom, um, didn't like that, and that's, and then she was sad for a couple of months, and all of the, she's the god, Demeter is like, if I'm thinking of the right person, she's the god of, like, harvest, and growth, and, and, like, plants, and stuff like that, so all the plants were dead, there was no food, there was nothing for those couple of months, and it was cold, and just sad, and then eventually she was able to come back, but not without Persephone eating a fruit, she ate the fruit. That basically meant she had to spend a certain amount of her time in the underworld, which were those couple of months. And that is their reasoning for why we have winter. So that, I actually really like that story. Um, it's a bit, you know, it's, it's mythology. So there's already, there, there's some messed up bits in it, but that's how mythology goes, sadly. All right. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe she got divorced or like she separated from Hades or something. I don't know. She gets that found out she was gay during her marriage and separated and now she's living her best life type of vibe. So I'm hoping that's what it is. Whatever it is, it's pretty clear this Persephone hates me and not just because she thinks I'm a murderer because they don't all think that. <laughs> it feels personal. Those shop artists er, wa wanted to gut me and hang me on a clothesline so I better watch my back. Yep. And then Pam. Like, I like the green, yellow, brown vibe. Very... Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, very Spencer Reed from Criminal Minds, very, you know, look-wise anyway. Attitude-wise, I don't know if I trust him quite yet. It's between him and Athena, and then uh, Apollo. Those are the third three that I'm like, mm, you're a little suspicious. Back in the morning after going through the ringer, just having discovered I'm some kind of ancient muse, I guess who showed up at my apartment uninvited, poking around the kitchen like he's cons considered an investment. <laughs> Considering an investment. There you go. His idol's name is Pan. I don't know what his deal is. He's a bit too smooth. Seems like he knows too much that he isn't saying. Oh, hell yeah, he does. And just happened to know where to point me, which he offered the price, of course. This one shady, folks, I guess, the like, kind of favor he's going to want. Probably some. Excuse me, something you're not going to like. Okay, so that's the journal. And when we left off, we were about to go to Calliope's apartment by ourselves. So let's get back into that and see what happens. <sighs> Not a lost girl is a trophy I got, and then we have to go to Muse's hi no god. Muse's hideaway. Let's go. Oh wait. Mm, go. Looks very nice. Oh. Okay, there was no key, so it's just open. That's not a good sign. Nope, it is not. It looks very pretty, but also very empty. This is Calliope's apartment. I don't know what I was expecting, but it looks kind of empty Not besides this. the instruments. Um, hello? Oh, sure, Grace, good job. Just announce to the killer that you're here. Oh. <laughs> I better have a look around. 
Oh yeah, are we gonna go up or are we gonna go to the music? Guitar, light, elegant painting, Warhol painting, drums, Elvis picture, harp, instrument. Let's do instruments. Confirm. So many instruments in here. Yeah. Did she play all of them? Well, she has a muse, so that would make sense. Um, uh, I want guitar. Yes. Damn, look at that. That's beautiful. How do you even get one of these? I don't know. Maybe she made it. You never know. Okay, um, harp. Oh, I got the instruments first. A giant harp. Of course there's a giant harp. <laughs> Why wouldn't there be a giant harp? Okay, um, I want to look at the lighting, though, actually. I love the clouds circling around it. That's really After cool. It looks almost like a... The audition. Where did she go? Did she follow me? Did she come here? I don't know. But, like, it almost looks like a, um... Like a tornado's farming because it's all circular and like going towards the center. That's kind of cool. I really like that. Okay, drums. Right. These aren't. Do I inherit these as the new names? <laughs> do, are, are these mine now? Okay ask? Honestly, I do that shit with my friends all the time. I'm like, if you die, can I have this? Like, my friend had a really nice pair of slippers or something. And I'm like, hey, when you die, can I have your slippers? He's like, sure. I'm like, all right, cool. So I get the slippers if he dies. <laughs> <sighs> um, painting. So it's elegant. Ooh, I like that. I really like that. I want that painting. Did she paint that? I love the colors. Looks like it belongs in a museum. It does look really nice. I really like the colors. Okay, Warhol painting. Ah, oh, that does look really nice, too. Andy Warhol. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how many celebrities she knew. Probably a lot. Okay. Oh, this picture gotta have an Elvis. Did she know Elvis? I Seemed to be signed by just him. an ironic photo of Elvis and she wasn't like his muse or... Maybe. Never know. Okay, let's go upstairs. We looked over everything down here. Let's go upstairs. I, I would love an apartment like this. Here. This looks so cool. Maybe there's something upstairs? Oh, I'm scared now. Why am I scared to go upstairs? <laughs> I love stairs like that, but they also freak me out because I had a bad experience with one of them. Um, oh, someone man. scared the shit out of me Grace. going up those stairs it's in my theater average, and the steps you could yeah. see below and you could see up <gasps> Hi. Apollo? Why is Apollo here? Wait, I got a text message. Oh, I was just saying I have a test result and... Okay, um... Hi! Not nine. Who says there are nine? Whenever they found someone who made something truly masterful or created a new art form, they'd pass on their idol on take a new name oh See, that's how the mortals became confused. were they together they got it wrong like they got almost everything about us wrong okay so they the myths aren't actually true you scared me you're apollo you scared me sitting there in the dark were they together I... oh for all i know you could be the killer come to hide the evidence or raid the fridge <laughs> no, I'm just here to mourn an old and very dear friend. If I may ask. Was she your friend? How did you find this place? And what are you doing here? Pam told me about it. Pam yeah. told me about it. I was hoping I could find something, some clue about what happened. Y you've Maybe. already met Pam? How odd. Well, at Why? least he lifted a finger to help me. For his own gain, maybe, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. I honestly wish I could help you, Grace. You and Calliope both deserve better. Okay. Can you tell me Can about you her? Tell me about Calliope? I barely knew her, but she seemed. She was a beautiful soul. If troubled. Troubled? Aww. Well, she thought the idols had lost their way. Yeah. She argued with us, all of us, that we needed to change. Okay. We hadn't spoken in years. <sighs> I hadn't seen her home before today. Oh, this um, is sad. I'd rather not talk about it. Okay. Why is this room This room me? is a mess. Did you do this? I don't think he did. Someone this, was looking for something. It was like this when I got here. And you didn't think that was in the least bit strange? 
I didn't think much of it, but I came here to be reminded of Calliope, not to search through her things. That end, it's, uh, it's cleaner than my place. <laughs> I don't know if I can trust you. Why can't you help me exactly? Pan said there's no specific rule against it. It's not that I'm forbidden to help you, Grace. It's that you don't want my help. Of course I Why? do! You have to know more than me about almost everything! My help will only make things worse. How Why? is that possible? I've been sentenced to death. And without my help, you stand a chance of avoiding that fate. Okay. How do I know you're not the killer? No, I'm not gonna do that. So you didn't mess up the room, but someone must have. There could be a clue. Yeah. No, nothing that I've seen. All this mess, as you put it, is likely the result of her projects. Her what projects? Project? When Clive got an idea in her head, she would obsess over it. Sometimes for months, even years. Okay. I don't know what she was involved with lately, but this... Uh, for her, this is... Nothing. I don't... I still don't know, because everything else in her area is so clean. I Why should thank you, you for, me? you know... Speaking up for me. It, Why did you? It wasn't right. What they were doing. It still Thank isn't. You. I still need help. I'm not disputing that, Grace. I just don't think that I'm the one to help you. Are you like secretly super, super powerful? Don't and like you're just trying to hide it so you won't hurt anybody? For me, but you won't lift a finger to help. You don't want yes. me to do more. You keep Why saying not? that, but it doesn't make any sense. I don't know anything about you. If you because you're help, saying the myths aren't real. Thing. But insisting I don't want you to? <laughs> Why not? You're not gonna say anything. Are we gonna sing? I we gonna can't sing? Do this. Damn it. Can you explain why? Don't you want the truth? I love how there are different options with all these. I can see this is hard for you. I really can, but I, I don't understand. You don't, I don't. know what you're asking. Do I have to beg? For whatever reason, you helped me before. My life is still on the line. Oh, her things are glowing. We're about to sing. Belt out a song, girl. Song in centuries. Okay. According to Pan, I can't force anyone to do anything. But yet, here you are. Is he gonna sing? No, he's not gonna sing. Were they together? What didn't I do? Were they together and they separated? Long gone fights, but they're never dead. What did I do? What didn't I do? Calliope, what was she to you? Yeah. Thousands of years we walk side by side. She tries to say, Don't walk the same, never walk the same. Never the same. Okay, so were they together? What about we weren't the same, never the same. You held fast. What's that about? Stubborn me. Thought I'd wait her out. Usually she'd come back to me. But she didn't this time. She'd return. Oh, that's I like that picture right there. Oh, I thought that as a painting hanging up somewhere. Oh my god. I'm trying to stick with green just to keep it consistent throughout this entire thing.
Give me chills, guys. I fucking love this so much. Try again. What you offering there, girly? What you offering to him, guys? What haven't we tried? Waiting for Calliope to show up, be like, ah, psych, bitch. That hidden voice, it'll always play. Okay. On a loop, it'll always say, what did I do? What did I do? Okay, y'all are gonna get blinded. It's a song you can't erase, but you can make a time space. It's like the recording of song. It looks so cool. I love this so much. Oh, I'm gonna play the. I, I wonder if there's different endings. Very well, I'll help. Though I'm uncertain what you expect me to do. Athena I don't know something. Prophecy, didn't she? Isn't that telling the future? <laughs> prophecy is the last thing you need, Grace. Why is prophecy say I'm gonna die? It sounds like it'd be useful. Can you explain why? It'd be helpful if you could explain why exactly. This is all new to me. Prophecy remember? usually means yes, you're gonna die, so I get true. the prophecy thing. It's so easy to forget that. To receive yeah. a prophecy is not simply to be told what might happen, it's to be told what will happen. Yeah. To know Like there's so many people oh my god, there's so many people in mythology and gods and stuff like that that were like, I wanna know my fate, or their parent wanted to know their fate. And then it's like, oh, this person's gonna die by this, or um their son's gonna kill them, or they're gonna be killed by a lover. Like something like that. A lot of times it was like, oh, your son's gonna kill you, and then it'll continue a cycle of father killing, or son killing father, so on and so on. And, and then they're like, no, I'll, I'll avoid it. And a lot of times when it's like, oh, their son, the, your kid's gonna kill you, they'd send the kid away, and then they'd come back and kill him in one way, shape, or form. So it's this whole thing. So I totally, totally get why he's like, prophecy's just gonna make you, the more you try, the more you take, ah, Jesus, what am I trying to say? One often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it. Okay, Master Ugwe was so smart, he knew what he was talking about, and that applies to, to everything to right now. Only in ignorance is one free to choose. Okay. Talking about fate. How what? does that work? That makes no sense. If you tell me I'm gonna fall into a hole. Then you will. No, but I'll yeah. just avoid holes. All holes, any hole. And That's not how it works, girly. Is what will make you fall. Of yep. Course, prophecies are never crystal clear. Sometimes you won't understand the full meaning until it's too late. Mm hmm. Can you help? How is so that a power? Have a power you won't ever use because all it does is hamstring you. Yikes. Mm -hmm. Welcome to my life. But yeah. there might be something else I can do to help. Like what? Come with me. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Okay. Let's go. Oh, of course he lives in a fucking beach ha beach shack. Huh. Who are we meeting? You're right, this place is a lot. <laughs> Her place was a lot cleaner, goddamn. This is where you live? Oh, yes. Sometimes. And excuse me, I don't get many visitors. That's all right. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I I have three brothers. I've seen a mess or two. Well, you're being kind. I admit I hadn't realized how bad it was. Until you went to Calliope's you place? You said I'm here to meet someone? Uh, yeah. Yes. Who am I here to meet? Um, do you know what an oracle is? I don't want to go... <laughs> no, I don't want to do it. Like the Oracle of Delphi? 
Oh my god, yeah! Someone who or tells Delphi. the future? Not quite. They serve as a channel of sorts for my power. I don't want to go see an oracle. This I don't want to see an oracle. No, no they're going to tell me I'm going to die. Earthly means to possess. Okay. There's always been one. Over the ages, no matter where I go, one manages to find me. Okay. Meaning there's an oracle here. Yeah. There is. Who is it? What? Her name is just Oracle? I brought someone to see you. Hi. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not a magic fortune cookie. Is that what Paul told you? Oracle is my handle. And even if I was the Oracle, I'm certainly not his Oracle. Okay, I love your eyes. They're so pretty. Uh, it's lovely to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Oracle. Huh. Well, she's got better manners than the last lady you brought here. But okay. at least that one had a casserole. Would you like Do some you food? I can have make... a casserole. Do you want uh, me to make you a casserole? No. I have some lasagna in my freezer, girl. I'm not going to yeah, finish it. You I can thought. have some. And split it. Look, I'm sure he told you all sorts of nonsense. Yeah, my um, my work. I work at a hospital, and they for every year for Thanksgiving to show their thanks for all the employees, they give out turkeys. And for those who are vegetarian, aka myself, they hand out lasagnas. I'm expecting it to be like you know little couple serving lasagna you know like you know this big lasagna no it's fucking six pounds of fucking lasagna and i'm like holy shit it's frozen solid right now so i'm gonna i'm gonna be eating that for a couple weeks <laughs> for my lunches at work oh my god i'm actually I'm kind of excited about that i might have to make some for dinner and eat it up and then portion it out so i can have it for the rest of the couple the next couple weeks I use computers. I'm okay. a hacker. That's it. Sure. I ask very little of you, Oracle. Your help here would be appreciated. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Fine. I'll get your abs in a twist. <laughs> I like it. Okay. So Paul brought you all this way just to see little old me. Paul? What's on your mind, sis? Like Apollo? Oh my god. Um. So you're an computer? Oracle who uses the internet, huh? Yep. Like I said, it's my handle, and yeah, it's a sweet setup, huh? Some of it's even legit. Mm -hmm. The parts I purchased for her, presumably. Bargain <laughs> for fair and square, and I keep telling you to get me an Ethernet cable. Okay. I don't know what that is. <laughs> of course you don't. <laughs> this is the 21st century, Paul, and your 21st century Oracle needs her some download speed, okay? Okay. Um, so you live here? Do you live here? I crash here, yeah. Better here than home. She Aww. showed up one day, as the oracles do. Naturally, she is welcome to stay as long as she likes. It's a little creepy out there. Like the way he talks. Living in your house. I thought maybe he was a creep verse, but... Yeah. Nah. Pause, I... <laughs> the highest of praise. I guess so. He'd be more alright if he did some laundry. I love him. Paul. Do you mean Apollo? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Apollo, if that is his real name, says he's a god of prophecy, blah, blah, oh, blah, Oh, she doesn't blah, believe blah. it. I love this but so much. But you don't believe him. <laughs> believe him? Uh, who'd believe that? <laughs> it's super weird, but he's a decent guy, so he can be Apollo if he wants, but I just can't call him that. All right. How well tell how me, do you know? Is him? Apollo always so incredibly emo? Like a sack stuffed with sand? <laughs> I am. Oh, right I here. love it so much! Don't get me wrong. It grows on you after a while. Grace, surely this is not what you came for. Um, this is fun. I don't want to give him a heart. Oh, but it is kind of fun. It's cute watching you get all flustered. Oh, <laughs> it's hardly productive, is it? See, there you go again. <laughs> uh, I don't. I didn't mean to flirt with them. Room. A different room. I need information. I'm looking for information about someone named Calliope. <laughs> Can you help? Can you? Oh, the lady from that apartment I sent Paul to. Yeah, I'm checking that out. What did I tell you? I looked it up. 
You could do the same if you learn to use a computer. Nah, he doesn't want to do that. Here, hold up, I'll show you. Okay. There. The apartment was originally purchased two years ago by a holding company, Core with a K Enterprises. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see. That would be Persephone. Okay. Is that a surprise? You weren't expecting that? I wasn't aware Persephone and Calliope were friendly. Certainly not friendly enough for Persephone to give Calliope an apartment. Fair. The good news is that Persephone is easy to find. I can take you to her if you like. Yes, please. You're helping me now? Whatever happened to, I can't help you, Grace. I'll just make it worse, Grace. I love it. I admit, you got me curious. Great! We're all done now. <laughs> Thank you for your help, Oracle. Please, Thank do you. try to get out from behind your screens at least once today. Perhaps go for a walk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure, will do. Leave a tip on your way out. <laughs> I love it because she's in like uh, Oracle's like in a dark room in a dark corner. What's that? Was that like Persephone's thing? No, but she's in like a dark corner. We're going to the underworld. Oh god damn! She's in a dark corner, in a different area that's a little beat up. Uh, I kind of love that. It's actually really cool. Okay, I'm actually gonna leave it here, and the episode here. Um, next episode, we shall go to the underworld and confront Persephone. That's actually kind of cool. It is kind of cool that we can have love interests. I'm not sure if I, if I want to do that, though. Because we could have had love interests with our friend. And literally, Pan, when when we were singing, was like, Are you two dating? Like, what's going on between you two? And we were like, oh. So, and I didn't mean to flirt with Paul. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. But it, it was nice. I don't know. I'm going to leave it here. Next episode, we shall do all those lovely, lovely things. But until then, my name is Bella. Hope to see you guys in the next one and peace.